Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome. Sorry, changing around a few things here. All right, something a little bit different. I'm actually going to stream for a little while playing. And even though I've already played this one and knocked my 50% off, I'm going to play it again. I have played a little bit today. A couple battles just kind of when I had the opportune time. Haven't had much time today. Taking care of... I don't know if anybody watched the last video yet, but I um, had a doctor that makes house calls come by and take a look at my mother. Hey, another Atlanta. Which means we're going to face... Uh, yes, this is PvE. Not feeling well, so I'm not going to jump and do any PvP right now, so I'm just going to be casually playing. But since we have two, they're going to have two, which kind of sucks. Atlanta versus Atlanta turns into a fire fest. <laughs> um, when there's no Atlantas and a bunch of destroyers, the Atlanta munches on destroyers. If you're not familiar with the game or not familiar with the ships or whatever, the Atlanta is a premium ship. It'll lock my guns, let them go all the way as far as they can this way. Now, you can see the rear guns are as far as they can go on the left-hand side. I want them to go as far as they can on the other side. The lock-to-lock -lock time is what I call it. It's pretty much, I believe, it's the fastest you're going to find in this game. For it to be able to go from one side of the ship to the other. And when you are dialed in, full broadside, you can get seven out of your eight turrets on target at one time. And can do that up to an angle of... there. Alright, he laid smoke. Enemy force detected. Um... Land also has really, really good anti-aircraft. Someone asking for medical advice. I usually have my camera up whenever I'm streaming this game, blocking the chat so you guys can't see the, the stupidity that's in the chat. Alright, the, the plus side to the smoke here is it'll help me stay concealed. But that's a Farragut. It's an American smoke screen. He's moving awful damn fast. There's first plane shot down. Alright, I am in the smoke train. The downside to this ship is it's not very strong armor-wise, and the guns have an absolutely terrible range. It's what, 11 kilometers? No, that's upgraded. They also have a really high arc, so it means that the shells take a pretty fair amount of time to get there. Upside... Sometimes you can shoot over top of a mountaintop. But you gotta get a really heavy lead. Once you get your lead dialed in, the rate of fire of this ship is disgusting. In a good way. Yeah, with HE, yeah, he's down for it. And he's done for. And no more smoke screen. Shit. Gonna be seen. Konigsberg, not a bad ship. Shit. Two Atlanta shooting at his ass. He's not gonna make it very long. There's a fire. Shoot. Go ahead. I gotta die before I can get all, all the, the rest of my salvo on him. Benta! Still moving at full speed. 
flag. Yeah, I knew that metal should be there somewhere. Probably should switch to high explosive. I mean, um, armor piercing. But I've got the inertia fuse high explosives. Just broke this up, mono. And set the fire. Shit, two Atlantas side by side. Speed. One Atlanta down, the other one should be down here soon. This poor Colorado's been getting his ass kicked. I'm gonna cut my speed, see if I can turn a little sharper. Where are your planes coming from? Actually, that destroyer probably needs some assistance. Because that carrier is going to sit there and pester the shit out of him. And he was nice enough to throw smoke. This thing has got damn good anti aircraft. You can see his tracer fire. He's trying his best. And he's done a pretty good job with those aircraft, but eh, destroyers aren't known for their heavy anti aircraft. I should be going after the ships, but you know what? Yeah, you got them. Now I can turn back in. These guys are well out of range, so I don't have to haul ass. Or I can start looking for that carrier. Alright, his planes are coming from over there, so he's got to be right over there. Turn that tight. Let's see. I have a defensive fire, which means I can target the um, aircraft a lot better than if I didn't have it. It prioritizes, and technically speaking, all of my guns, my main battery guns, are actually can double as any aircraft. They don't really, but. I'm at 32 and a half knots trying to get over here to help this dude out. You know, we've only lost two ships. They've only got two left. So I'm not going to get into a great big hurry to rush over and try to help the rest of the team out. Because they've got it covered. Our carrier is going after the um, battleship, and we're going after the um, the carrier. 17k. Still got a little ways to go before I'm in, in range. I do have torpedoes, but yeah, I doubt that I'll get in range with torpedoes before this destroyer can get his torpedoes out. I would like to get in range of the damn planes and shoot some planes down. I should be going after um, capture points, but you look at their score versus ours. We have 762 out of 1,000. They have 5 out of 1,000. Carrier is going into a cove there. Yes, I know it's a bot, but still, you ain't got nowhere to go. <laughs> Almost 33 knots, and I can't catch up with that destroyer. It's going too fast. And in range. Now, if we can set the carrier's deck on fire, then he won't be able to launch planes. 
or recover planes. I didn't want to steal his kill there. I mean, he he did the work with those torpedoes and got up there and took all the shit from the aircraft. So, eh, we'll let him have it. Lovely. What was that? Earned 600 XP. Lovely. All right, let's play something else. Victory. Convert some XP. Five thousand exactly. How about that? Um, yeah, I'm just converting to free XP. And I got a container, yay. There was much rejoicing. Okay, I want more resources. I want coal. I just want coal. I don't want your flags. I don't need your flags. I don't need anything else. I just want coal. Give me three coal. You'll have one, two, and three. It's three different stacks of things you'll get. I want all three of them to be coal. And only one of them's coal. And that's a duplicate. So, what can I do with that? Oh, your Zulu flags. 20% more credits per battle, which is cool. Alright, so, since I have duplicates here, I can use duplicate points and get that. Your sub collection's complete. Camouflage patterns, reward. I got second flag for on all Commonwealth ships. Goody, I don't have any damn Commonwealth ships. Yeah, but I have one left. You would think it'd be nice if you could carry that over to other, but it doesn't work that way. Um, you get different things, different rewards. Dunkirk evacuation. Alright, so if you get all this, you get Jack Dunkirk as your captain with 10 points for cruiser. He's, he's set for the uh, Black Swan, but that's my Seal Clubber ship anyway. Got no duplicates on that one. What does that one give me? Camouflage color schemes. Custom color schemes for camouflage on all French destroyers. That sounds cool. And a second flag for French destroyers. I've got second flag for British destroyers from this, I believe it was. Um, I don't know, one of them. But yeah, it gave me um, the ability to put a second flag in. Get a super container for doing these. Alright, go back to port. Um... British destroyers, I think it was. Allow me to run dual flags. So yeah, I got my skull and crossbones, and I got uh, Christmas Klaus is what I call it, because that looks like Klaus the fish from uh, American Dad. And screw it, we're on the turpins. And then what I'll do is I'll come back and run some Tier 5s, uh, just for the sake of it. Now, Tier Pit, sister ship to the Bismarck. Um, also a premium ship, uh, ship that was uh, given to me by a really cool guy. Really awesome guy. You guys on my Discord channel know who he is. I won't mention his name, because he knows he's awesome. So, Terrapits is one of the few battleships that, well, in real life, a lot of battleships had torpedoes, but in, in the game, um, one of the few battleships that actually has torpedoes. And yes, I'm old, and I will tell the same frickin' stories over and over again. Um, I was in a, a regular random battle, and just like a couple ships left on each team, and I'm... I play this ship sometimes like a, a large cruiser. Um, I run in towards another battleship, and we're exchanging what we could for um, uh, salvos back and forth with a slow reload and all that mess. 
and I got close enough and I dropped torps on him <laughs> and sunk his ass with torpedoes and he's like and he wasn't pissed off about it he's like damn I forgot you had those <laughs> it's not everybody knows that the uh, Terrapins has torpedoes alright um where to go where to go where to go Yeah, I see a lot of battleship captains. They will take this. I don't know if you can see the um, the mini map there, but they will just stay as far back from from the battle as they possibly can, and shoot their their main guns from as far away as they can to actually try to get a hit on things. And they miss with ninety percent of their shots. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to miss so much because their guns are so inaccurate at that extended range. They're just afraid to lose their precious little ship. Now, this being a premium ship is going to give me a, a bonus to credits and XP and free XP and all the flags that I've got on here too and all that stuff. So, I, I'm going to profit no matter what. Terpids, Vincent... Not much up right now. Sees 24 kilometers. He's outside of my range just by a little bit. If I were to. What do we got there? You're in range, Baltimore. Yeah, I mean, if. If I deploy my plane, my spotter plane, I can get extended ranges. Hell yeah, I'll take that. This long reloads kind of suck. Want that Baltimore dead? Yeah, he's gonna be a problem. So are these destroyers. What the hell would you lock in and let me get a damn shot? Now my secondary batteries are opening up on this uh, destroyer. Come on, sink his ass! Here, yeah, he's good. Hopefully, I'll lock in on this guy when I get close enough. One of my secondaries. There's a, a mission that I need to complete that requires like a thousand freaking hits with um, secondary guns. Now this little piece of shit destroyer over here, and this other asshole is gonna be firing freaking high explosive rounds, which is gonna set my ass on fire. Baltimore to go because he's going to be spitting a hell of a lot more high explosive on me than I care to have. Ooh, 15,000. We got one fire. Now, this destroyer, he's going to be dumping torpedoes here really soon. Two fires. And okay, Baltimore's gone. Do, but I need to face this damn destroyer. He's gonna be dumping torpedoes. I hate using shit now. Because this bastard's probably gonna. Buck. Oh no! I'm gonna get torped by a fucking friendly! Only thing that saved me was the sunken ship there. Or else I would have just taken probably three or four torpedoes from an idiot on my own frickin' team. Enjoy something back, you little asshole. Cut it, I 
guarantee this dumbass from destroyer is probably gonna try to dump more torps. Yeah, that'll work. Torpedoes, direct front. A fucking douche. Goddamn guns reload. Fuck you, you little piece of shit. God, I hate idiot fucking destroyer players. He's almost frickin' dead. out of that smoke. This, um, Terpitz, shit, he's already dumped his torps, um, is gonna wreck his ass with secondaries. I am gonna intentionally beach myself. Potentially beach myself because I want to get shots on this freaking terpits. Hell yeah, Citadel. And eat four fucking torpedoes, bitch. The ship is on fire. Enemy battleship destroyed. I'm gonna go ahead and repair. Is just a carrier left. Yeah, hit him with a full broadside. Of all four turrets, eight guns, four torpedoes. Problem solved, sir. And I don't have a direct s shot on this guy, so let's go ahead and. Oh shit! Once I get clear of this island, I'll be able to dump shit on them. Big ass ship, this thing actually moves pretty good. All the guns should be clear. Come on, let's turn. Come on. Alright, so that's only going to leave me two turrets on them. But I want to get as close as I possibly can, and I'll dump torps on his ass too if I have to. just the right spot, I can really wreck that ass. Oh, yeah, he's going down now. Oh, yeah, that's three kills. <laughs> oh, so much more relaxing and frickin' PvE. 3,400 XP in PvE is pretty good. Alright. Let's convert that XP... Four hundred and one. Oh, hell yeah. Somebody voted positive for me. Even though I called somebody an asshole, somebody gave me a, um, a compliment, which gave me a plus one to my karma, which helps if I accidentally hurt somebody else. It kind of helps in the long run. Um... What do we want to play? Um, if I had Twitch running, Twitch has a thing that's kind of cool, if I could ever get it figured out. It's a ship selector for anybody who's watching while I'm streaming can say, hey, play this ship. And they can 
it'll pop up and su say that someone suggested I play a certain ship. Um, I had been working up the... Let's take a look at the uh, tech trees real quick. Um, the next major patch is going to have submarines, which is going to be kind of cool. Uh, Japanese line, we have all the way up to the Congo, which I could probably finagle that. May have enough between what's on there and what I have free and get that. I'm not so much worried about it. I'm trying to maintain getting tier 6 and 7 on pretty much everything across the board that I want to play, which would be battleships and cruisers, but primarily cruisers. So I want to have the Tier 6 and Tier 7s of them all. Um, I'll have to check the Aoba and see if I can get the Miyoko. Not so much worried about getting Tier 10s. I'm not doing clan battles. so you know. And the reason why I want the Tier 6s and 7s is that's the ones that are primarily in operations. So uh, The Japanese line, you've got battle, you know, the Battleship to 5. I've got um, Cruisers to 6. And you've got two separate lines of destroyers, and then you've got your carrier line. Really hate what they did to the carriers. They removed the ones in between. So now you have twice as much effort as what it feels like to go from one to the next to the next to the next. Because you're skipping tiers. Four to six to eight to ten. So you lost. If you had a tier ten and you had all the extra ships, you lost three ships. Kind of sucks. Uh, American line, I've got the Colorado, which is my tier 7, so I've got my 6s and 7s on the battleships. Um, I sold my Dallas. Um, at some point, I'll probably get it back. Um, I need to buy some more. They make you buy garage slots in World of Tanks and, and pier slots, I guess you call it, or, or whatever, in World of Warships. They make you buy those for 300 gold or doubloons. So you actually have to pay real money to, to be able to have more ships in your port. Which I think is kind of wrong. When every other game out there, like Armored Warfare, you can have as many tanks as you want. You're not buying extra garage slots. You just get the space. And I think that's nicer. Um, yeah, and there's a bunch of premium ships as well. Um... I may get some more later. Don't know. Depends on whether or not you guys like me actually playing games instead of showing how to make games. Uh, so I'll leave that guys uh, up to you guys. Um, and then we'll take donations, and I can roll donations that come in from World of Warships videos. We'll roll back into purchasing gold, or doubloons, rather. So it's all based on what, what everybody wants to see. Destroyer-wise, Tier 6. I don't have the Tier 7 yet. Um, Russians, they just started with the Russian battleships not too long ago, so I went ahead and got that one. I can get this one, and almost probably this one right here. This guy right here is absolute garbage, so what I may do is just go ahead and use my free XP that I've gained, and just skip out of the rest of that guy, and go into this one. It, it, and, and I hate to say this, but this one can't be much worse than this one. The Gangut, Gangut, or whatever. Piotr, Peter, whatever. I, I can't pronounce all these things. Um, for some reason, I've heard of the Sinop. And of course, Vladis Vostok. I guess the only reason why I know this name here is because that was actually... Um, uh, a Russian port or an important port for mm, the Russian Navy or they've used different names over the years I'm just gonna call them Russian I don't mean any disrespect for anybody who's Russian I just don't know any better and I'm too old to care Chapayev I know that name as well Shores I definitely have heard about and stuff about it um, and I believe that was from North Sea Chapayev I think as well Dmitry Donskoy and Moska, Moskva. I swear I've heard those before. And Tashkent. For some reason. Agnovoy. Kremlin. So yeah, these, these actually remind me of World War I type dreadnoughts. 
But yeah, that's probably what I'm going to go ahead and do is that. Come back to the Russian ones and do that. But let's quickly just skip through Germany. I'm only at tier 4 on the battleships. I've got enough free XP right now just to get the Koenig, which means King. And then I would have a tier 5. I don't know why I still have the Nassau. I can sell the Nassau. That'll free up a spot. I can sell the Kaiser if I get that. And that'll free up another uh, spot. So I'll have one free out of that. Um, I definitely have heard about the Nisenau, Bismarck, Frederick the Great, and the Um Konigsberg, I like that ship. So I'm just wondering how good the Nuremberg is compared to the Konigsberg. Kingstown. Um, yeah, I've heard of the Hipper. But I'm just wondering, because I, I kind of like the Konigsberg. It, it's actually a decent ship. Um, so I could get the Koenig, and I'd be in Tier 5, and it'd get me one notch closer to a Tier 6. But you know, I think I'm going to try the Russians a little bit more. Uh, UK... Eh, again, I could jump right into the Iron Duke if I wanted to. I've got enough free XP right now to skip out of the Orion. But the Leander, not a bad ship. It's not great, but it's not horrible. I kind of liked the Emerald, but we'll see how the Fiji is soon. Because the Leander will probably stay, and then I will get the Fiji. That way I've got two, um, my, my six and seven for operations. And I need to get that carrier as well, the Furious. I just I'm I'm having a hard time liking the Hermes. Um, yeah. The majority of the British stuff, they don't have high explosive. They only have armor piercing, which is kind of a letdown. But eh, wouldn't mind getting the Nelson. Um, Minotaur for sure I want to get King George Queen Elizabeth of course I'll have those eventually those are just names that I, I've heard French wise I really haven't done squat with the freaking um, battleship line and I don't I may run them out again later but I just that tier 3 battleship on all of them just sucks so bad and you try to play them, and it just sucks the life out of you trying to, to level them up. Um, I did use free XP to get most of the way through these. I kept the whatever this one is, the tier 2, because it's just kind of fun. Um, I'll probably end up getting rid of it, but I'm up at tier 6 on the French destroyers. No smoke. They're fairly fast and fairly nimble decent reload on torpedoes, but not a great range. They're, they're kind of fun to play. Pan Asian, up to tier 5. Just one of those things. I don't play them all that often. Italy, don't have anything. Commonwealth, well, if I had the Perth, I could run dual flags on it now. Europe. Uh, I think that's Polish. I'm not sure what country that is. Yeah, so Russians. Uh, I hate to do it, but and you would think this would be kind of a decent ship. Where the hell are you? Um, I'm on it, right there. Um, you got one, two, three, four, five turrets. But this turret cannot aim this side, and this turret cannot aim at that side. So you're broadsiding, you're only going to get four turrets no matter which side you broadside. Now, I have got zero XP on this one right now, so I'll have to use free XP to get out of it. Captain, you don't even have a point? What? Yeah, he doesn't even have a point yet. So, I... Stanislav Zotov. 
Eh, who knows? I may keep them. May not. But if I look at the modules here, I might as well just free XP it all the way down. I, for some reason, I got the gunfire control because I, I thought I was going to be able to just run through this one and try to enjoy it, but I, there's just no enjoying this ship. Um, but it would be kind of senseless to just free XP through it whenever I can do a battle and get extra XP because of the first win for the day you get extra XP and whatnot. And it's a tier 4 fight in a ship that's absolutely garbage. The guns aren't that great. The um, reload's not that great. Accuracy... Eh, armor is terrible. And so this is kind of a dreadnought. This just screams of World War One era ships. Ah, I love coffee. Starts. So, we're going to just go straight. Screw it. Damn the torpedoes. Full speed ahead. Yes. The clan that I'm in is FSA. Full speed ahead. Now, weird. Played this one the other day, and that left side turret would not cover anything on the right hand side. But now it's it's turning. And just crossed over. So now I can bring all five turrets to bear. I swear, I I I well I am old and probably getting C now, but I would swear that I could not do that the other day. Five turrets. Now it's not going to traverse very far forward because you got a smokestack in the way from that uh, second to the rear one. How far will you go up now? Uh, not super far. Range is what, 12 kilometers? Yikes. Yikes. And no spotter airplane. Alright, he's almost in range. So I'm going to pull. Hard turn. Get a full broadside. Should go up to that stupid ass destroyer, but whatever. Freeout, I believe, has torpedoes. There's a Kawachi. So I want to keep a little bit of space in between me and him. Just have to maneuver for torpedoes. I gotta have this stupid destroyer dead. He's gonna die. Nope. Oh, that was some tater aim right there, boy. Oh no, you are fucked. Oh, how did you, oh, you got lucky. Yay, full broadside at a ship you. I knew he was gonna kill him. back in towards his Kawachi. Look at 
I get a full broadside, then I'll turn back in. I don't like being that that guy that's playing the frickin' map border. What are you doing, guns? Oh no, don't, don't give me a good game in this now. Uh, I've had some decent shots, but that one was absolutely just potato aiming. Launch that skill, boy! And you missed. See if my tater was greased up. Oh yeah. One penetration, one non-penetration. Really? Oh no! She got smoked. I'm gonna use a compliment. Shot on anything. The Kawachi is gone. He dipped between the islands over there. But you get 10 compliments and 10. Excuse me. I was just saying something here. Oh, th yeah, the, um, you get 10 compliments and 10 reports per day. can pursue him. He's going for our cap, but he's going to run into our ships. I'm not going to get a shot on that carrier, because that Freon's going to get up there and, and get on it. So I might as well just jump in the cap and get cap points and do something towards the um, achievement for that. 13 minutes left, got plenty of time either way. 15 kilometers, still out of range. You're not out of range. is trying to give him out. Oh, two pins, one non-pin. That sucked. But, yeah, I mean, I am shooting at his ass hand. I'm not the kind of person that plays this game totally nerds out. Well, this ship has back armor, or this one has this. Yeah, I don't care. Your best shot is aiming at the broadside. Close towards midship. Oh, took out one of his guns. Oh, he's probably in range of shooting our carrier. Might as well farm some damage on him. Carrier's dead, and I'm sitting the cap. And there's some skill going at him, and missed. Let's be the planes. 
man. We're going to win no matter what. I mean, we're so far ahead on points. Plus, I'm about to cap their base. And we got a battleship and destroyer and a cruiser and a carrier. All working this guy over. He's not going to make it much longer. So I'm just going to get these capture points and let it ride. And they got him. All right, back to port. 325 XP. Mm -hmm. Tell the difference between a premium ship and a non-premium ship, and PVE per versus PVP. All right, so yeah, this thing right here, you got um, make two honorable achievements, but it has to be in random or ranked battles, and I, I'm just not playing them. Using French stuff, um, yeah. Tier five or higher, earn two hundred fifty thousand credits, and then you get two hundred fifty thousand extra credits. Um, if you do this one, you get five hundred coal, and I probably should try it, but nah, not right now. I don't have any European ships, but I've unlocked enough to get me into the number two, which get fifteen defended captured or assisted in capture ribbons so I need to start capping um, and not screwing around glimpse into the future um, help your team cause a hundred thousand HP of damage upon your spotting the cheaty way of doing that is to get out there in an aircraft carrier you'll spot things faster than anybody else will um, clear skies shoot down 50 aircraft between that and the Atlanta or any good um, AA cruiser, that one shouldn't be hard to finish out. This one, might as well be playing a lot of battleships to get hit enemy ships a thousand times with secondary battery. Okay. Destroy ten ships. How many have I got so far? Credited for four so far? Yeah. Okay. And... Earn 15,000 free XP. Cause 8,000 hit points of damage by flooding. And. Earn. What? 2.5 million credits in Russian ships. Nee, not gonna happen. I don't have any Italy ships, so that ain't gonna happen either. Screw it. Just have fun. Roll with it. Now, I'm at the point. Do I go ahead and dump this turd? Which, you know, wasn't a horrible battle that, st that last time. He's now got 325 XP. And... Research that. Research that. Okay, let's look. I've got 305 millimeter guns. 36 second reload time. But the HE will do 4,500 damage. AP will do 8,600 damage. Not including, you know, like, citadels and shit like that. 36 second reload. What does this turret have? I mean, I can research it and be done with it, but... Same gun. Same reload. Same damage. What do you get? Bigger gun, a little bit better reload. 45 seconds turn lock to lock. Atlanta's like six. Um, well, hell, that's 56 seconds. So wait, let's look at something here really quickly. This is the ship that I've got now, 6,700 plus whatever. Yeah, I mean, I can do that, and then 13,000. Couple decent battles and some premium ships, and I can unlock the tier 5. That's when I start doing things towards the um, thing. And I can use any of my premium ships, any tiers, and just go out there and try to have a good game. 
galleons, we're done the turpets, got the T-61, um, ugh, as much as I hate to do it, um, I really don't want to spend free XP on this turd. The 68,000 XP that I'm going to need to get to the next carrier. And I got these freaking World War One aircraft. I go to the Furious, then ooh, I get some monoplanes. Go to the Implacable Tier Eight. All single wing aircraft. That's like pre World War Two stuff. Awesome. Audacious. Um. Nothing I've really heard of playing them with. You know what? Screw it. I really want to like playing carriers now, but I just can't. I I think that the um, the carrier gameplay is kind of ruined. I mean, when the subs come out, carriers are going to have an, a, a better role because they can be out there hunting down subs. And from what I've seen so far, dive bombers and rocket planes are going to do um, massive against um, the subs. Right now, <laughs> the damage from torpedoes on these sh these things are just so low. The bombs, uh, they're just too weak, if you ask me. And I have gotten into a couple decent battles where... If it hadn't been for me in the carrier, we would have lost. So there are times where the carrier will turn the tide of battle. But the only thing that I'm hopeful for right now is I'm going to go ahead and get some planes out and get some spotting. I am going to take my ship and park it right there. And I'm just going to get whatever in the air so I can get out there. And you manually control your aircraft now. I just want to get out there and get some ships spotted. I don't care if I do any damage with any, any of these planes here. I just want to get spotting. I'm going to spot the ships before all these freaking destroyers do. Especially before Senior Pinky there. Pink means a player that has damaged a teammate. Things happen. But, also, if they keep doing it, get detected. Why am I not detecting them? I want to detect all of them. Yeah, if they keep damaging friendly players, or same team players, then, at some point, the damage didn't get reversed. Here we go. Credit for one, three. Here we go. Taking fire. Yep, I'm gonna get away from your anti-aircraft. Fire. Keep trying to find more ships. There's another one up there. Kuma. So I got credit for three a four spotted right there. So even if I don't do any damage whatsoever then I know that at least I'm going to get spotting damage. What the hell? I don't have the um, ability to drop fighters. Approaching target. Taking fire. Well, they ought to get um, fighters. So my shit is just blowing all the hell on back. Yes, you're gonna run into the land. And you got to back up and turn. I got autopilot on. And my autopilot's not doing a very good job. You know, I've never flown over these mountains before. Kinda cool. Auto terrain avoidance. Yay. 
Did I bomb that bridge over there? Shit, I grabbed torpedo planes. Yeah, see, um, the next tier up, you can actually hit um, key and. Assholes, a lot of damn cruiser jump right in there. Is that Kuma? Yeah, um, not sure if I finished the other thing, but yeah, the um, damage gets reversed if they if someone keeps damaging friendly uh, or teammates, the damage gets reversed back on them, so it's possible for them to sink themselves. Somebody's out of our, our cap here. Yeah, see, pink message right there. Now that's bot on bot damage, but this dummy just beached himself. We're under attack. That one didn't miss. And this plane is about to go under. Engaging enemy. We're under attack. Yeah, this plane's about to die. Um let's grab some dive bombers. That bot is a pinky. Gotta stop him from capping my base. And of course, he used repair, so he's not sink, uh, not flooding anymore. Well, the flooding damage. That's why I was using torpedoes. Yeah, that's the ticket. Okay, ah, you fucker. Their carrier's down. Our team has taken the lead. So you got two battleships. Again, good. Okay, that's the Russian one. Let's go. We're under attack. We're under attack. Approaching target. It's a big ass attack for me to be under. Taking fire. Five non penetrations. Really? You have got to be shitting me. Turn you motherfuckers. All five bombs bounced. Yogi over there, both the same tier. Well, you might as well eat these damn planes, because um, engaging enemy. Making fire. Uh, five more non pins, but set fire. Maybe I might like that piece of shit Russian ship. Aircraft carrier detected. That's not something that I want to hear. Fighter airborne. And we're under attack. 
one penetration, five non pens. But he's gonna burn this time because he's already used his repair. Okay, it's just aircraft that's spotting me. But they're rocket planes, is what it looks like. Uh, carrier deployed fighters. And I just got credit for a three shot down. Come on, more fires. Ten non penetrations. Son of a bitch. Okay, let's try some rockets. Maintaining present course. Fifteen non pins in a row, well, one pin and two fires. All right, so carriers out of planes. I has planes. Let's try to set this bastard on fire one more time before this destroyer decides to throw a wall of skill at him. I mean, that's what destroyers do, but still. Fire. Approaching target. Fire. Yep. Wall of skill, bitches. Wall of skill. Roll up, launch 15,000 frickin' torpedoes, and off you go. Alright. Well, that wasn't horrible, I guess. But it wasn't great. Hey, another 5,600 XP and I get another free container. Um, what to play, what to play, what to play. I don't really like battleships. So, because the long reload time. I like a faster reload time. That land is the fastest shooting ship that I've got. A tier 6 American carrier. Dursky. Sadly, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll get XP that I can play with. What do I not have unlocked in this ship? I thought everything was... Oh, yeah, yeah, I got the wreath there. Never mind. So, yeah, I mean, I'll get, you know, a bonus on this, but... Nothing that I do in this, because it's Tier 3, will count towards his other uh, mission roles. But damn it, the Dursky, it, you either have really, really good battles or really shit battles. Got, what, one, two, three guns, tiny-ass guns, 102 millimeters. But you got one, two, three, four, five double-tube launchers, uh, torpedo launchers. I'm going to play one in this, and then we'll call it... A, we're at the one-hour mark right now, anyway. Um, <laughs> you either have really, really good battles, or you really, really crap ones. Because this thing has so many torpedo launchers, it can launch ten torpedoes in one salvo. However, it also has a fast reload time on those. But to compensate for it, it has really, really short range, and they're not super fast torpedoes. But you can potentially have a lot of fun with this guy, especially since this is a carrier battle. If you can stay away from their freaking airplanes, of course it put me right in the damn middle. I don't want to be in the middle. But okay, I mean, I can make the best of it. 9,700 hit points. One good salvo with a battleship, and done. And look at the reload time on the um, the torpedoes. Ah, uh, Orange Crush. So yeah, I'm either going to have a really good game or a really crap game.
don't care which. Guys, uh, we're gonna call and drop the stream after this. So we're gonna yellow. I'm gonna run right straight to the dam center, and there's a rocket attack plane, which means probably gonna come straight towards me. Um, tier four carriers, so probably didn't have the ability to do a fighter drop. So it's gonna suck. Gonna have no anti-aircraft cover. Spotted because of the aircraft, and they're coming in. Do is just pilot my ship erratically, make them miss a little bit. That's Campbelltown. I'm going to attempt to out torp him. No, I didn't see exactly. Okay, there he is. I'm not going to take your damage. I'm going to dump a shitload of torpedoes, and I'm going to haul ass. No point in using smoke, because he's well within inside proximity range. Yay! Maneuverability is out. my little ship guns here. Yay! <laughs> That's a shitload of fucking torpedoes. Fucking planes off me. All right, repairs made. I've got a Kaiser. I want his damn carrier dead. That's, I'm, I'm pissed now. This motherfucker's coming right back for my ass again. You missed me, bitch. Carl's rule. Somebody else has got um, smoke up over here, so I'll try to slip into their frickin' smoke. And they're out of torpedo range. Asshole fucking carrier. Alright, set him on fire and he immediately uses repair. So now. Where are the damn torpedoes? What the hell's wrong with you? Straight for this damn carrier. Our victory is in sight. See, I can afford to come over here and dump torps. Because I'm going to reload so damn fast. That it won't matter.
spotted, so it's not going to hurt to shoot. These goddamn rocket planes are going to piss me off. I got my engine booster on, trying to get away from these assholes. But this carrier is going down. I don't give a shit. We haven't lost a single person at all. We have, none of them can draw the fire out from the, this damn battleship and this damn cruiser. I'm detected. Oh man, my shell went right between the damn ship and the, uh, the carrier deck. Oh, you're going down, my brother. Fuck you. <laughs> Outrun the rest of them. See, this is what kind of pissed me off, though. There was still enemy left. I could have kept on going. The battle could have kept on going, but it ended because we reached a thousand points. So I don't like that. We could have gone for the, you know, the final kill or a full capture or whatever else. So that kind of annoys me a little bit. We'll convert that to eight four three. Sorry, I live in the eight four three area code. Yep, personal data about me. Now you know what part of a state that I live in. <laughs> All right. I've had just about enough of this shit for right now. I think what I may do is switch up game wise. Um, we're just over the hour mark. And. And see a hell of a lot of activity for viewers, and nobody said a damn thing. So I'm assuming that you know I got everything correctly and was streaming on YouTube like I was supposed to. My my luck, it'll have lost my settings that I changed right before the stream to go back to YouTube instead of Twitch, and it's probably broadcasting on Twitch. And that's why I'm not seeing anybody. Yeah, I'll stick with that. All right, so we're gonna get out of here, and um. I think what I'll do is switch over to the Hunter. Alright, thanks for watching, and we will see you soon. Exit game. Yes, that's why I said exit game, you piece of shit.